boys, we're about to lay down a banger. No, uh, no progress updates. One solid video. We're gonna be working with this company called The Spray Source, which you guys actually know, but probably don't know that you know. He flew in town, and he'll be here in just a minute. We're gonna be painting my Lexus IS300 wagon today, and I'm so excited about it. I've been working with The Spray Source to create my very own custom color. It is literally going to be called Evan Shanks Blue. Now, it's not blue though. I was very intentional with how I created and designed this color, I think you guys are going to love it. I'm excited to have this color on potentially more cars in my fleet because I think this is one of the more unique colors that you will see. I'll let him explain a little bit once he gets here. The spray source is very unique and it's very cool. He offers some really cool DIY options and he packages everything together, clearly, as you see right there, and uh, gets you sorted. Let's go paint the IS300. We have a little more body work to do. We are basically just going to do a scuff and spray. I'm very, very excited. This is my HKS wagon. We're going to Marketplace Specials, the damn ites. This car is going to be probably one of my cooler cars in the fleet. As you guys know, I've loved Supras for forever, but uh, the four-door has my heart. And the wagon, even more than the four-door. It's going to be so good. And as you guys have seen, I got a big-ass paint booth. <laughs> so let's, let's blow it up. Here's the man of the hour. What is up, buddy? It is so awesome to finally meet yeah. you, man. Welcome to the Shank Shack, my friend. So this is it. Yes, sir. Yay, peanuts. Yeah, they're uh, dog safe. Are they the ones that dissolve yeah, in water when you, when you toss them? Yeah, so I got tape. You weren't kidding. Like, you like, provide a whole solution, right. brother. Oh, baby. Reducer. And this is all available through a super simple click and click yeah. build yeah, option on your site. three questions and pick the size of your car and then so Dude, that's so cool. This specific kit, I think it's a little over 35 items. All you got to do is take what you give them, yeah. prep the car, paint yeah. the car. Exactly. And I even supply the, you know, um, the step-by-step -step guide also in here. Uh-huh. Somewhere in one of Well, that's places. awesome. Yeah. We'll get this unboxed and I'll show you a little bit more about it. I wanted to work with him because I think it's one of the coolest things ever and it's, it's a one of a kind. So I don't know if I've mentioned it. Uh, he might have said something, but Tommy started Alpha Pigments a long time ago, which is... A lot of the colors that I use on some of my liquid wrap cars, he makes the pigment for. By trade, he's good at making colors. I've always been a massive fan since, especially being from the Subaru world of the color, call it blurple. Blue and purple at the same time. Tommy got into his, uh, his science suit and made me a bunch of different samples. Yeah, it's kind of crazy actually to see how many... Yeah. different we made quite a like bro literally mixed these this is kind of cool though like this is a service that you provide for custom colors and so this is kind of cool like this is like that's almost like midnight purple r34 kind of like that's a, a little more gray that's cool though but that's cool though you would you would know that you would <laughs> but it's cool i think that's iris smoke two coats of diamond now none of these uh -oh. None of these are the color that I chose for the car because I'm insanely picky. But I got two that are back here that were in contest with each other. I thought I had one picked out, brought it into the shop, and then had a complete change of mind. That's all you're going to see. Very excited about it, though, guys. I'll have Tommy explain, once we start the painting process, what the color's called, what other, other details that he wants to tell you. We're going to get this thing body worked. Start with a little bit with this guy right here because we do have a good amount of stuff to work on here for fiberglassing this bumper back together and uh, gonna get the car painted. There's blue and silver. Oh yeah, I see it in the light now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Dude. Iris smoke's gonna be the base. So the base has the purplish in it, right? Okay, and then you get a little bit more of the blue pop it with this. Exactly. The blue pop and the silver flip. I like how that's gonna like desaturate 
Yeah, because like the silver kind of desaturates and the blue almost adds too much saturation. Yeah, like. that's cool. All right. And you gotta give these back to me now later because I'm gonna need these. Okay. Food's getting expensive. Yeah, I know. Like Bucky's. <laughs> so I um, made a silly. I didn't roll my windows up before I took the battery and all the harness out of the car. There's no taking out the door handles on the front, which is totally fine. You guys can hammer on this all you want. We have got her sanded down, and uh, now we're about to begin the fun part. We've been doing a lot of little body work here and there, and Tommy's been fantastic because he has uh, absolutely knocked this out and crushed it. Look at her. Finished sanding all these two. So I don't, man, I, this is this is a really weird one. I don't know what uh, was used to <laughs> clear this. But it was, it's an interesting one. I don't know if they just didn't use the right hardener. Uh, it kept on bunching up. I couldn't use an orbital and I actually had to do everything by hand. And then I had to scrape off all the soft clear coat or whatever it was. It's almost like they used like a plastic dip with a hardener. So it's just crazy. But uh, same thing with the side skirts. It's fine though, ended up working out. We got it cleaned up and really as best as we can. But uh, yeah, and then also, dude, crushed it here. Check out the HKS rear bumper. Can't even tell that it was cut in half. We got a bunch of fiberglass. I now know how to do fiberglass work, which is great. I've um, deprived myself of this information that is very uh, easy to do and simple and easy to learn for a long time. Tommy, I want you guys, to, I want you to explain a little bit about uh, some of the cool stuff you do briefly at the spray source and then also why this particular setup right in front of me is such a cool thing. I get a lot of people like you that want to paint their car yeah. and the idea behind the whole kit is to make it super easy uh, for basically anyone while also having professional materials and that kind of stuff whenever you're doing it. We did the light bodywork version of the kit on this, large size just because it has about the same surface area as like a small um, SUV. It's, a, it's an SUV. Yeah, it's a, it's a slammed <laughs> SUV. Thing. It is. That's kind of the idea for it. So we're just doing the outside. So obviously you choose the size, what you're gonna be painting. So exterior, or if you're doing an all over paint job, full color change and everything. Also what type of job. So like this one would be light body work because we obviously had to do some body work and some high build primer. Um, so that's the only thing you don't see on the ground here is the high build primer since we've already used it. But it comes with the high build primer to cover up your body work mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. It's not enough to high build the whole car. Um, that would be the metal up restoration uh, version. But for spot primes and then you would wet sand it in, that way it's ready for seal. So yeah, it's everything you have to do is uh, done basically for you when it comes to trying to figure out what is needed to do a paint job. There's a lot of pea brains out there like myself. You know, the paint industry is interesting. You know, not everybody knows every, like all the ins and outs in the industry, trade secrets of, of the paint world. And a lot of times it's a little bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you guys, especially with something like this, it's not. It's, uh, I like his website because um, it's easy to use, but you, it, it's just like, a, it's a clicky option. You literally go down a list, choose the size of your car, like he said, what you're starting with, what you're doing, if it's light body work, if it's no body work, if it's bare metal, and then like the kit is built for you and it's affordable and it's all the professional grade stuff. Yeah, so it's the same stuff that I use whenever I've worked in shops or all the shops around the world, it's the same exact product. Yeah, it's uh, from the stuff I've used already so far, um, it's the, it's better than any of anything that I have used that I've been able to get my hands on through like a any of the auto body paint stores. So it's really good stuff. UPS for once in their life actually pulled through and found their package that they yeah. lost. And this did show up this morning. <laughs> so big shout out to, well, I'm not gonna give them a shout yeah, out cause they, they kind of suck. <laughs> As we use it, I'm gonna have a, him explain some stuff to you cause this is cool. This is to mask the car, but you see it's got some tape on it. Obviously the tape, the gun. That doesn't, that come, doesn't with come with the kit, gotcha. but it is, that's actually one of our patented uh, spray guns that we sell, mm. um, which is pretty cool. And this is that's a cool. limited edition one. It actually does change colors. Oh, so that's kind of, it's like R34, it's like midnight purple. Yeah, that's sick. Kinda, that was kind of what we were going for. Hell yeah. So you got the sealer, so you, so you have the high build, but then we're just gonna go straight to sealer because- Exactly. On this particular instance, we have multicolored panels. Right, so our kits, we call it scuff and shoot because obviously you're gonna sand it and then you're going to go straight to sealer. Mm. Um, in the industry, it's a little bit different because usually when you do a scuff and shoot, it's perfect condition. You're just scuffing with like a gray scotch bright and then the factory clear coat. And then you're going straight to color, right? Mm. With this, since it's kind of mismatched, we're going over primed <laughs> areas. We have a random red fender, you know, rust areas, all that kind of stuff. 
the sealer is gonna make it all uniform and mm -hmm. also it's going to fill in any small imperfections. So like anywhere that has like small little scratches or that kind of stuff, it's going to basically make it all even. Mm. And that's why we sand it with 320 because that's cool. what sealer is meant to go over. Um, I'm a visual learner and I hate listening to talking. So we're gonna start at this point, car's prepped. It's time to lay down the sealer and keep going. We've got a custom color, Mr. Man made all himself. I am excited to show you guys. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys a big update on all of the fun that we've had today. So we've masked the car down. As you guys have seen, this kit comes with a really cool product that is incredibly easy to use and very helpful that I will definitely be only using from now on for masking. You doing it so much, yeah. you know a lot of the secrets. So is there anything we should spill to them? Anything we should tell them yeah, like about so what we've done? Especially whenever we're doing just the X exterior doing the jams the way we did it is the best way because mm -hmm. like obviously overspray you want to have a clean line so you want to kind of look and see like we taped about a quarter inch in so that's where the overspray is going to get right? gotcha so yeah mm -hmm. um, and then the same with this like we took off the there's normally a rubber here that covers this so obviously you're not going to really see that but you still want to have a nice clean. yeah right 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 and then the I, I keep forgetting that the yeah, other is the rubber that yeah. goes all along here so you're not going to see this yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't say this. I don't think, but obviously, like we're not doing jams. I think it's not necessary for this car. And obviously, do what you want, and if you have the time and you want to put in the effort, go for it. But yeah. uh, not doing that. I, I, I meant to say that earlier on this car. But it's also uh, pro to having a not colored car yeah. from factory. Black, <laughs> so dark gray, stuff it's like it's that, gonna blend in nicely, and, and that's what's pretty cool about it. But anyways, go ahead. Yeah. So that's kind of. That's, that's really it. You want to make sure it's all masked and like having the plastic kind of down in also yeah. kind of just make sure there's no like, extra overspray off because like the last thing you want to do is have to be cleaning up overspray, especially clear coat. I, uh, I want you to show them the, uh, the fender trick, the fender thing. Okay. Show yeah. them what we did yeah, and why. So it's very intuitive stuff, but it's like something you probably wouldn't think about unless you've done it a hundred oh, times. Exactly. Yeah. I used to do it from the inside out. Yeah. So basically with this door open. Yep. You back mask the back corner or yep. back edge of the fender, and then all you'll do is press it in. With a spudgel? That is spudger. Spudger. Or I use, <laughs> I use it as a gift card or a credit card. Or I just learned the term spudger today. That's crazy. Didn't know that was a thing. And as you can see, it does. That's cool. Yeah, that's really like cool. Like a professional style mask. So like what you want to do, you don't want to just press it in. You want to yeah. make sure this sticky part actually lands on the back side of the door. Yeah, okay. So you almost want to like press it in okay. and then out. And then in and then and basically you keep doing that the whole way down. Yeah, that's sick. And then obviously it won't, it'll super minimal leakage through there or none at all. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's sick. I think what's really important to know is you can do a really good job in a, I don't want to say the word minimalist because that's not, you know, when I, that's perceived poorly, I think sometimes, but you don't have to do the whole bare metal unless you're really restoring, you have tons of rust, but you can do this exact sort of prep, this exact sort of paint job, and it can look great in your garage. The next part that we're going to go to is going to be the only fun part, honestly. The shortest and most fun part. The paint. <laughs> And I want to clarify that uh, I got, you know, I got the paint booth to really save the other cars and I have fumes and paint and stuff lay down, but you don't need this. Tommy was actually just saying, so right now he's wetting the floors, which is an odd thing that I wouldn't have known, but that obviously helps prevent dust from kicking up and 
the main thing that I've learned so far is after you do the final wipe, which is what we were just doing, the least amount of dust, dirt, grime, anything you can get on the paint, you know, the better the prep, the better it's gonna look. You can literally not have one of these, do it in your, well, probably not your driveway, you can, it could look good. My first paint job was in my driveway. Your first paint job was in your driveway? My driveway, my mom's driveway. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's, I mean, just it goes to show, and I, you know, I love to do things DIY, and I love to show you that you can do it as well. So that's kind of the whole point with this. I'm also doing it sort of, not bare minimum, but you guys get what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I'm trying to do the minimum so that you guys can see that it's not as crazy as it seems because people like me, like I'm gonna be honest, I built cars for a long time. Painting has always been intimidating to me because there's a lot of different products and there's a lot of different, what I feel like trade secrets in the industry, and honestly, it's not. So if you just watch this video entirely, which you are, I think you're gonna learn a lot more than you think. So you've got the wet floors, the car is fully prepped. You know, we've sprayed it out completely. There's no dust on the inside. There's no dust on it. We've done a final wipe down. You can see like, it is very dry and uh, almost perfect to the touch. Probably the cleanest the surface will ever be is right now, which is obviously the point. Guys, before we move on and get to the painting and the paint color and the whole process, I do want to give Tommy uh, and the spray source a genuine thank you. The reason I'm stopping the video right now is because I, and I don't ask for help much. I have a link for you in the description. The least you can do is click on it and go browse around some stuff that the spray source might have. It's a huge deal that Tommy came out here to help me, and I'm super excited that you guys get to see the color. Before we go on with painting, I just wanna let you guys know how cool the spray source is. Obviously, it's made for the DIYer, and it's made with you in mind, people like me in mind that just have a garage and nothing crazy. What I do want you to do is check out the link that I have for you, whether you want my custom color or not, or whether or not you just wanna see the little things they have to, to benefit you in the shop. They got a ton of stuff on their site. But these DIY kits is like, I mean, it literally is painting made so easy. And one of the coolest things that I really like about it is they, uh, it comes with a cheat sheet. And so the cheat sheet tells you exactly how to mix so that uh, you're not gonna screw anything up. Because if you're anything like me, I had no idea how painting was done through a spray gun, didn't know anything at all. And this little cheat sheet literally tells you, you do this, you do this, you do this, and then you spray it like this. It even tells you what nozzles to use and like how far, it's just, it's amazing. So he designs it for the DIYer and it, he designs it for you. So if you've been looking to spray a car, make sure you guys check it out. Otherwise, man, like I wanted to make this video to show you guys that you can do all of this in your garage, but your paint is only going to come out as good as your prep and uh, obviously, comes with experience too. Tommy has taught me a ton. Anyways, a big thank you to the spray source. I won't waste any more time. Let's get back onto the video. Bro got me swagged out. Oh my God. Are you guys ready to see the color? Woo! I'm just kidding, that's the sealer. Let's go. We're gonna mix the base coat, and I'm pretty excited about it. It's called Iris Smoke, I think. Yeah. I settled on this base coat because I, I really wanted the color Blurple, and it seemed close enough to where it was a good base. Yeah. Actually, that is, that is Blurple. Blue it's like purple. a grayish blurple. Maybe. I'll explain it once it's on the car because I had this like idea in my head and I wanted it to be an exact color and Tommy was able to make, I think, exactly what I was thinking of. So we, we both will find out after <laughs> the spray. I told him to change it last, not last, last second, but like I mean, we made some changes and didn't spray it, but I think it's, I mean, it's exactly what I'm wanting. So too late now. All right, boys, time to go. Oh, that's gonna look so sick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There All right, go. there you go, brother. All right, so we'll start on that corner, same and thing. then we'll work, yeah, same way. So the way I like to do it is I start from the bottom and work my way up on each panel. And this, this color, you can, you can panel paint. Basically, you'll start here as low as you can, work your way up, okay. and then try and hit this 
This way? Yeah, I'm trying to get in all directions. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Now do the door, do the rocker, door, work your way up. There's an, there's an obvious spot here that I need. But so I guess when I, you do this, you'll fade it. Fade it? Okay. Yep. Cool. Same thing, break your wrist. Right? You're learning something that most painters don't even do. <laughs> All right, so the base coat's down. Boy laid some glass with a couple mistakes here and there. <laughs> so wet sanded. So this base is Irish smoke. You, you coined it, you named it. Yep, I So it means you can change it. If I have to. <laughs> I just like the color blurple. It's so good. Do one more little base coat, spritz over it a bit more, and then um, I'm gonna have him do the special part just because like it's the body and it, I want it to look perfect. Yeah. I would do it. It's a DIY thing, but um, you know, got the tool. Right. And in Use all reality, 90% of our kits are just base coats, right? Yeah. So the pearl would already be in it. Yeah. And you wanted a little extra pop, so we're doing a tri stage. So it's a little, a little bit higher difficulty, mm -hmm. right? It'd be like the beginner, I would not recommend something like this. Um, I would probably, this would be like intermediate advanced DIY, yeah. right. Right? right? Right. It'll be cool. So beginner's mistake, I have never used a paint gun in my life. Lack of knowledge of like how it works obviously is gonna affect sort of the outcome, I suppose. You know, the whole time I was having this super weird problem, I felt like I'm just not getting enough product out of the gun. Long story short, um, there's a little pinhole at the top of the, like the, the funnel housing where you, a little pinhole is clogged. I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't know it was a breather hole. And so I was getting very small amounts of, uh, of whatever was in there. And I would just, it, it wasn't making any sense because I had used the gun before. I kept everything really clean. I tried like new guns, new this, I cleaned the pins, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, what is happening? I didn't know if it was like the, the regulator, the, the I, I didn't know. So I had to end up sort of just doing what I could. This was the outcome of me laying on a lot more glass pretty much than, wow. That looks really cool. I'm kind of bummed and I'm almost worried that the car just doesn't have enough clear coat now because it definitely doesn't look like this. Another issue though is because of the lack of product that was going out, I wasn't able to get 
as much sparkle or I probably, I, I might have gotten enough sparkle, but the problem was the consistency of it coming out. So the way that he did the car before he had to fly home, he did two coats of the mid coat, which, you know, if I did two coats with, you know, with what I had, it was gonna be significantly less flake just because a lot less product was coming out. So I had to kind of just wing it, make it as even as possible, but it, uh, as it sits, I mean, it looks pretty good. It needs to be wet sanded, it needs to be polished, but it looks like honestly pretty phenomenal, dude. The paint color, I mean, the paint color is literally the point. I mean, I'm, I'm incredibly happy with the color itself. Like that looks beautiful. I am, I'm hoping and praying the car turns out like this. You know, the car actually looks like it's this color. Um, I'm halfway worried that like, I just don't have enough of that glamor clear coat on it. And you know, I could prep it again, do a little more clear coat, but then it's like, that's a lot of taping. It's a lot of work again. So we'll have to see. I'm gonna see what the, yeah, but this is really cool. I mean, the skirts turned out fantastic. I was really worried about them because whatever sort of clear coat or lack thereof uh, was used for these skirts and the front bumper and the, well, the rear bumper was new, but the front bumper too. Um, the paint it didn't want to react properly. I was not ex I was not ecstatic with how everything was kind of working together. But I mean, it looks beautiful. Like the the clear in itself, you can see has this sort of glam to it. I guess that's why they call it a glamour clear coat. But the flake itself is really cool. I'm gonna get everything on the car, and I'm gonna probably just do a detailing video as the next video and uh, really finalize this and show it off. But the reason I made this color was because. For one, I really think the color Blurple is unique. I think it's a really cool looking paint color. As you guys know, I usually go pretty conservative with the colors that I do with my cars. It's either conservative, like black, white, you know, grayscale, or it's pink. But I really like the color blue. I've never had like a nice blue car before, so I'm kind of excited about that. I wanted my own signature color, and the reason why I built the color like this was I like the base, which is a Blurple. Um, it's called this is a custom color by the spray source, but I'm gonna call it Blurple because it's, that's what I like to call it. It's a blue purple mix, but I was very particular about the, the mid coat. Uh, it's got two flakes in it. It's got purple, but the secret was I wanted a like silver, like lighter flake in it to almost desaturate it, to take focus away from the deep purple. And so it is really hard to tell because I, I mean, I wish I could have done a little more flake on this. I really do. But if you look in the light and in the sun, it's going to be different, but you'll see that it's got sort of a silver, uh, popping out of it. It's got like a, you know, and a purple as well, kind of, or blue, maybe it's blue. I can't remember which one it is, but the silver sort of like uses the light to almost desaturate it and create a really cool sort of sheen on the paint and it looks so, so cool. I wanted to do this sort of optical illusion almost of like a, how is the sunlight desaturating but also saturating the color and I, I just think it's awesome. Let's put these on, I'll show you what we got and then hopefully I don't have to clear coat the whole car again because that would be a nightmare. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I uh, want you, you all to know that I owe the spray source a way better job than this on the hood. I'm very upset at how I came out, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know how the paint gun works. He did give me better advice and I just don't, I, I should have followed it better. So the hood, please ignore it. That is obviously just a pure mistake. It needs to be sanded down and redone. However, the rest of the car looks amazing. I pray you guys can just stop looking at the hood because this is actually the only focal point Dang it. Okay, hold on. So he did amazing. You look at the rest of the car, it's fantastic. Dude, this color's, it's so amazing. Ah, I'm so mad at myself by the hood, guys. I, I can't even get over it, but just like any paint job that is in a freaking inflatable paint booth, it needs a, a little tiny wet sand in a very good detail. But also after all this work, you know, you should, you should want to coat it with a wax or a ceramic something. Anyways, dude, the color's so cool. I can finally show you guys the color because there's actually clear coat on it now. Well, 
Well, the car is on the lift and because uh, I just needed to clear some space out in the car that you're actually sitting on at the moment, I just had to paint as well. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, but I do wanna say, man, a big thank you to the spray source. The car turned out great. I'm gonna be honest, my first time spraying the, <laughs> uh, the mid coat on the hood did not go as well as I wanted to. And so I'm probably gonna end up getting a carbon hood for the car anyways, because it looks cool, but uh, I'll, I'll rock it for now. It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, you can always respray it, repaint it, but I'm gonna need to order some new paint. Getting it out into the sun, it looked fantastic. The body looks great. The only caveat really for this whole thing was the booth itself. And I actually do have a booth review coming for you guys because so many of you guys have actually asked for that. The extraction just wasn't working even when we added an extra extractor. And with that, there's a lot of little hazy spots that I've got to go through in wet sand and we'll do a full detail on the car when the time comes to make it look absolutely perfect but first I really got to get the car running and I need some help doing that because uh, I got too much other stuff going on in the drift season to worry about. Man a big thank you though to Tommy and you know if you ever uh, request a color from him if you want a color for your car one of the coolest things that they offer they sell painted speed shapes and ship them to your door. And then I think they're the only company that really does that. They let you hold the speed shape in your hand. I can't remember where my, all mine went. Mine are, mine are dusty nasty from a month's worth of painting and body work, but uh, they sell these right to your door, man. And it's really cool that you actually get to see, especially for me, like making a, 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 a custom color you know, I needed to see it in the light and in the, in the shop and all that kind of stuff. So man, if you can just do me a big favor, click the link I have for you because honestly, it makes it, e if you want to help me get help in the future, a lot of times whenever I say like, you know, click, click the brand, it's I'm like, I'm not getting paid when you click the brand, right? It's like, that's not how it works, but it supports me because these people that like, I mean, he flew out to help me paint a car. If he sees that you guys are at least interested or you guys browse around or click the link, he sees that. I try not to ask too much you guys, right? Again, a huge thanks to Tommy. Huge thanks to the spray source. I'm really excited to uh, work with them at a larger capacity moving forward. I will have a couple cars that I really wanna do some cool colors on. And in the next couple of videos, I got something really cool as well. I did some more painting, but in a very different way. Lots of content coming. I'll tell you what, the daily advice I have for you guys, just be you. Don't take that in like the Disney, progressive way. Don't change who you are, your ideologies to fit the current narrative of the world. Because regardless of whether you change or you try and fit in, you're going to get figured out eventually and it's not going to work out. You're going to waste a bunch of time and uh, it's, it's going to suck. Be compassionate uh, and follow your convictions. That's how I go by, dude. Everything you see on me, face value. If you meet me in person, there's not a single difference you will notice. I love you all so much and I will see you guys next video. Let me know what you guys think about the paint job in, uh, in, in the description. And once we get all the body kit on and the wheels back on the car running, I'm excited to make some really sick stuff with it. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on, give the video a like, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.